Okay. All right. So first of all, congratulations on season two. It's so much fun. I loved season one. I'm an avid book reader. So I loved this season. Um, my you. first question, <laughs> my first question is actually for Kit and Jack. Um, Jesper and Wyland are such fan favorite characters and their storyline is so anticipated this year. I wanted to know from each of you how it felt to to play, bring that kind of representation to the show, to bring that story to life, and if you've gotten any feedback from fans who are anticipating uh, the story's arrival. Wow. I mean, there, there is a lot of anticipation. I mean, I think if we're, if we're ever in a photograph together, people mm -hmm. people either assume we're filming a new scene or something. So there's, there, there's a lot of anticipation, which is great, because also, at first, I think that can be quite daunting. But I think I'm really proud of what we've made. And I'm really kind of proud of the, 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 what the story is, but also the execution of it, because I had such a great time working with Jack. Mm. Um, and I think the story is, you know, it's quite unique in some ways in terms of um, this relationship is very kind of lovely and it's not, you know, it's not taboo. It's, it's, it is what it is. I don't know what you want to say. As well. Yeah, no, yeah. same. And I think the anticipation for the relationship it really speaks to something. And I think... Um, fans of fantasy and who are, you know, queer don't often get see themselves in stories like that, especially playing characters who get to be dangerous or get to be flawed in that way. Do you know what I mean? I think that's a really, really special thing that I take very uh, proudly, very seriously. And it was really special for me to be able to play a character who gets to engage in a queer relationship, but that isn't the crux of his story. And he also at the same time gets to be badass and gets to join a group of criminals. That's a very special thing. Yeah. Um, like Kit said, I mean, working with Kit was just, I mean, it was, it was fantastic for so many reasons. Um, we were really, really blessed, I think, with uh, writers who, who cared about this relationship and how it can yeah. function and form in this adaptation versus in the books and give fans of the books something new and also something that feels like home to them, that what they were waiting for. So I really hope the people who've been waiting for that relationship are happy and also surprised. Um, but yeah, it's very special. I'm very, very grateful to exist in that sort of universe as well, where mm -hmm. um, it's not a part of their battle at all. It's just something they get to enjoy together. Oh, that's such a good point. And I think it does really add to the, the sweetness, sweetness and the poignancy of that story. And I was very excited to see it, it play out. So my next question is actually, it's actually for Freddie, Amita, Amita, Danielle, and Callahan. Basically, you guys are all having kind of a rough time when it comes to romance this season. <laughs> yeah. So I would love to hear each of your advice to your character, um, it, like your romantic advice for them. And, and we'll start with you, Freddie. Uh, seek professional help. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. How about you, Amita? Um, I would say get a little bit of therapy as well. <laughs> okay, therapists broken. are doing great in yeah. Hopka. <laughs> How about you, Danielle? Um, I would say don't give up. There's nothing that can't be fixed. He's worth it, and so are you. All right, that's great. And Calhan, last one? Yeah, the hope thing. Also find, uh, find out for sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't jump to conclusions, maybe. Like, yeah. take yeah. a beat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. This has been so much fun. Season two is amazing. I think people are going to absolutely love it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.